This video is sponsored by Surfshark. Hi everyone, Ta here. So both my Fold 4 and Galaxy Tab recently received a One UI 5, aka Android 13. And while majority of the changes were minor, there is one change that I know will make a lot of Dex fans happy. Dex finally supports 4K resolutions on external displays. But there is a catch. You gotta do a little bit of tinkering, which I'll talk about in a bit. In my last video, I said that it maxed out at 1440p, which is obviously wrong. So shout out to Satish for dropping this comment and letting me know. In today's video, I wanted to share all the dex based changes and of course, my thoughts on them. So this was a very small update when it comes to actual new features for DeX, but there are a couple of cool little changes that you might not have noticed. First of all, the taskbar has been enhanced according to Samsung. They added a search button so you can quickly find apps and files on your device. A search function isn't that new or exciting, but I do appreciate that it now opens in this smaller pop-up instead of taking up the entire screen. This way, you're not completely taken out of whatever you're working on. It's just a bit more multitasking friendly. If you right click on the taskbar, you can open up a new menu that actually lets you hide buttons that you might not want or need on the taskbar, including that new search button. Personally, I've hidden the navigation, language, and keyboard buttons as I never really use those. So with all this extra space on the left side here, I'd love an option to move all the icons to the left so the right side here doesn't feel so cluttered once you have a bunch of apps open. The notifications also got a fresh redesign. It looks cleaner, it's spaced out nicely, and the bigger app icons are a nice touch. The action buttons are bigger with bold text now too, which is a nice improvement over the old tiny ones. You can of course still quickly swipe left or right to dismiss notifications. There's also a new indicator that appears on the notification button itself that does a much better job of drawing your attention if you happen to miss the initial pop-up. Clicking on the date opens up a mini calendar. In the past, it would open up the actual calendar app. Sometimes you just want to glance at what's coming up on your agenda or view the monthly calendar. So I like the idea behind this. My problem with it is that they pretty much just slapped the calendar widget on here and called it a day. It's too small in my opinion, and there's no reason why I shouldn't be able to read more of an event title, especially one this short. You can also right click on apps or buttons on the taskbar to quickly access certain tasks or shortcuts. A couple of examples that I find useful, right clicking on the Galaxy Store icon gives you a quick way to update all your apps and right clicking the screenshot button gives you the option to take a partial screenshot rather than one of the entire screen. You can always crop a screenshot after taking one, but this might be a little more efficient. So I'm not 100% sure if this next one is actually new, but I don't remember having this option before. In the Samsung keyboard settings, you now have a toggle for show toolbar with physical keyboard. When you're using the book cover keyboard or any Bluetooth keyboard and start typing, a toolbar will pop up right above the taskbar. This gives you the ability to do a few things that weren't possible before when using a physical keyboard. For example, you can quickly access emojis, paste things from your clipboard, type with your voice, and even translate text into a different language. One thing that is still missing is predictive text. If you've used an iPad with a physical keyboard, this little box pops up giving you real-time spell check and word suggestions, including emojis. Samsung definitely needs to add this, especially on the Galaxy Tab with a super pricey keyboard cover that just isn't very good value. What is good value though is a service from today's sponsor, Surfshark. Surfshark is a virtual private network that encrypts all your data before it's sent over the internet, masking your true IP address and location, keeping you safe and private. With Surfshark, you can actually gain access to different content libraries from around the globe. Did you know that Canada has one of the biggest movie catalogs on Netflix? Well, now that you do, just connect to a Canadian server and stream away. The best part, they offer unlimited connections. Yes, unlimited. That's unheard of. With a single subscription, you can download and use Surfshark on as many devices as you want. Take 83% off and get three months free by clicking the link below and using the code REN. With a 30 day money back guarantee, if you're not happy with the service, just get a refund. Okay, likely the most important improvement to DeX with this update is that it can now support external displays with a resolution up to 4K, up from 1440p, which was the previous max resolution. If you've used DeX on a large display, you know how low res it can look. 
So a 4K option is much needed. The interesting thing about this all is that it's not officially listed on the changelog for One UI 5. Nowhere does it state that DeX now supports 4K resolutions on external displays. So technically, it's not official. For that reason, you need to download a GoodLog app called Multistar to actually get it to work. GoodLog kind of feels like a testing ground for Samsung to try out new features before they're officially added to One UI. Inside Multistar, tap on iHeart Samsung DeX and then toggle on high resolutions for external display. If you've got an older device, you might experience some extra heat, but I haven't had many issues with the Tab S8 Ultra or the Fold 4. Once that's toggled on, restart DeX and you should see a UHD, aka 4K option under display resolution. A bit of bad news for those of you who use a dock or a USB hub. It maxes out at 30 frames per second, so it'll likely feel way too choppy to comfortably use. A single high-speed cable from your device to the display is the way to go if 4K is what you're after. So the extra sharpness is great and all, but Samsung's gonna need to iron out some of the scaling issues. Remember that mini calendar? Yeah, it's now a tiny calendar. Unless I'm sitting right in front of the screen, there's no way I'd be able to see this. You can zoom everything in in the settings, but it doesn't scale everything up. Like for example, these buttons above the windows don't get any bigger and are a pain to actually interact with. Another improvement that Samsung has quietly added to DeX is a new display arrangement. In the past, we only had the option for positioning to the right or left side of the external display, but they've added an option for below the display now, which allows you to move the mouse freely between the displays when using a stacked layout, which is what I personally prefer when plugged into a monitor. Anyways, those are essentially all the improvements to Samsung DeX that I've come across since updating to One UI 5. Feel free to let me know if I missed anything in the comments and and your thoughts on the changes. As usual, thank you so much for watching. Until the next one, I'm out of here. Bye!